Hello and welcome to my unboxing of Wave 2 of the Sisters of Battle releases. It's the second week. This is going to be an unboxing and first look at the Sisters of Battle Exorcist tank from Games Workshop. So without further ado, let's um, unbox this. It's in a uh, big uh, cardboard box here. I think this box is actually bigger than last week's box. You'll be pleased to know, or not pleased to know, disappointed to know, that there isn't going to be a week three, a wave three of Sisters of Battle releases. Next weekend, you've got uh, a load of releases for um, Warhammer Warcry. Uh, however, there will be a certain box that I've pre-ordered uh, that I will get an unboxing and review out for you to do with Warcry and Slaves to Darkness. So hold on to your hats for that. Hope you'll enjoy it. Um, other than the uh, start collecting slaves to darkness box set uh, i haven't really ever bought age of sigma uh, on, on the release day and things so this is going to be very interesting uh, times for the channel and as always appreciate your support through the patreon and through buying your models through element games this video isn't sponsored by them or anything like that i um, just want to make that I'll make you aware of that uh, so we've got quite a few things in here we've got Hospitala, beautiful model. We have Junith Aruta, very small box. Very, very small box. The same size box as Hospitala, in fact. We've also got, because it was requested, uh, people wanted me to do an unboxing and review of uh, this Dark Angels Primaris Master Lazarus. One of the reasons I've got him is because he's uh, got a power fist and he's got a helmeted version as well as just a normal um, helmetless version. Uh, so that's going to be quite cool. I uh, hope you enjoy the unboxing for that. That'll be later on in the week though. Uh, probably Monday I think maybe. Uh, then we've got Penitent Engines. I'll be making a uh, Anchorite and Mortifier out of this kit but I will be purchasing another one of these box sets in the next couple of weeks. Um, probably along with the Wave 3 of the Sisters releases. Then I'll give you a review of um, uh, you know, two Penitent Engines from the, the box set itself. Because I've given you a review of the Penitent Engine in the uh, Army set. Then we've got uh, Arco Flagellants, uh, 10 of them. And finally, the Exorcist tank. Uh, this is what this video is all about. So six uh, releases there, pretty good going. I'm keeping up my, with my word for covering all of the Sisters of Battle uh, releases. So let's unwrap this and unbox it. Be very careful with that lovely looking box. So you've got some picture there of the Exorcist tank. It's so far removed from a Rhino. It'll be interesting to see the Rhino chassis in here. Um, wow, they've really gone to town on the back of this box with the different head options. Look, you've got the uh, sister with like an organ helmet. Um, you've got uh, one without helmet and then another one without helmet, just playing away, tickling the ivories there. You've got the hunter killer missile. You've got uh, a couple of cherubs. Um, you've got the heavy bolter at the front and then you've got uh, some iconography on the side and the rear and this angel wings. You've got the keys, which are pretty good. Um, I don't know how the keys relate to targeting data, but there we go. So let's unbox this. I wonder how many sprues. Should we say two? Maybe three? Possibly three. I think it might be two though. Oh, here we go. So this is the instruction guide. Let's have a look at this first of all. So yeah, wow, that's really, really interesting. So they've made a brand new Rhino chassis. <laughs> no way, I did not expect this at all. So they've put the tracks in with the tank. Now, I think one of the reasons is because if you read the designer notes on the community website is that uh, the suspensions lowered somewhat to take uh, the, the weight of this the vehicle and the weapon system and um, so the tracks sit a bit lower than um, normal rhino tracks and that is you know justification of, of this already um, you've got the rear rear back panel now I don't think you can open that I think it's uh, I think it will be fixed in there 
which is interesting. Then you've got uh, some more parts of the tracks. You've got uh, part of the organ itself and the keys. Some extra parts and, you know, steps. You've got the exhausts. And it starts to take some shape with the side doors and more of the organ. And then finally, you've got the rear um, back shield, I want to I call it. And then the missiles. You can, you can choose the different missiles. Um, you've got the Exodus missile launcher with the uh, conflagration rockets. That's the conflagration rockets. Um, it really doesn't matter which missiles you put in. Uh, it's up to you. It, the rule state, you can choose either of the firing uh, options, either of the two missiles. Uh, it's just which you prefer. I'm not sure which I do prefer. I like all the uh, mini rockets, uh, but yeah, I'll, I'll see when I, when I start building it soon. And then there, there are all the extra bits and bobs. The Hunter Killer Massile uh, looks absolutely stunning. Definitely going to be putting that bad boy on there. Um, you've got the Cherubs as well. I don't know if they're optional because I think there might be cutouts for them. So I will get a second one. There's no doubt about that. But when I get a second one, I probably won't put the Cherubs on or I might just put one Cherub on uh, just to make it look a little bit different. And then there are the rules. Uh, as you can see, you've got the conflagration rockets, which is more of the anti-infantry, uh, more of a horde weapon. Uh, the, both of the weapons are 48 inch range, but you do need a line of sight. Unlike, you know, the Thunderfire cannon, uh, which is 60 inch and you don't need line of sight. Um, this does have, yeah, 3D6, a potential of 18 shots there, at strength five AP minus two. And then you could go for the strength eight version, which is possible up to nine shots there of AP minus three damage d6 which is incredible statistically you'll you'll get about six uh, six or more shots um with strength eight so yeah it's uh, it can definitely do a fair bit of damage and if you have two of them holy moly uh combined with some miracle dice it's really going to cause a, a pain um but it is powerpoints cost of a, a, an eight or potenza anyway got a lovely uh painting guide there Showing how they uh, managed to get all the paint uh, for the for the exhaust, they use warp lock bronze, and they're using Troll Slayer orange for the rust. I would use riser rust, but there we go. Anyway, that's the instruction guide. I wanted to have a full in-depth look at that. Let's have a look at these sprues, and there are only two sprues, which means yeah, this is an expensive kit. Uh, you get the transfer sheet there, uh, but this is an expensive kit. It's twenty-five pounds per sprue. Um, to me, that seems like the direction they're going in a lot of the kits is to have as minimal sprues as possible, uh, but quite expensive ones. Um, the first experience I had with this was with the uh, Horticulus Slimux at £32.50, and that's one sprue for that model. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the sprue itself then. So you've got the top of the tank, top of the Exorcist. Uh, it looks like this site is kind of cloth and you've got roses embedded there. You've got all the keys embedded That's fantastic that they've been able to put that detail on such a, like a big piece um, So that that would have saved you a lot of time because this would have been made up in loads of different parts. You've got two heads there uh, You've got some Name plates with cherubs on either side. They are beautiful if you can see them on the on the screen You've got the uh, the front and the rear of the sister. You've got the hands outstretched and the other head is just there opposite them You've got the different missiles and the conflagration rockets. You've got part of a cherub there another part uh, Some scrolls and um, there's some writing on there. Actually, you've got this lovely lovely um, Angel wings here and some more for the, the cherubs. You've got uh, some pipes there for the organ and you've got these uh, simulacrum kind of statuettes uh, that will go on the two sides of the vehicle. You've got this kind of front plating. Uh, this looks like a fire guard really uh, that goes on the front of the exorcist. You've got these showing the orders it looks like you've got all the major orders there. Uh, and then you've got some more icons. You've got these, uh, which are probably exhausts. 
exhaust vents. Yeah, I think I've covered all the parts on there. And then you've got this one here, which has got the sides of the Rhino, which include the wheels. All right, okay, so maybe I've missed something out. Uh, so you've got the sides of the tank, uh, you know, the Rhino chassis, which is fantastic because you've got all the detail inlaid. I didn't think it would. I think you'd have to glue it on. Um, you've got plenty of detail for the doors still if you want to magnetise uh, these hatches. You've got some of the tracks, a lot less tracks than you would have if, you, if this Rhino uh, tank was separate. Um, you've got the front of the Exorcist and the rear. Oh, beautiful. I don't think you can open and close that though. You might be able to cut those plugs off and magnetise the top and rear if you want to open it and close it. Uh, this is going to be interesting to find out the, the actual Rhino uh, kit, whether this is the same configuration. I think the, the rear door is different. I've just noticed just now that there there is a secret little symbol there um, on the tank track. The tank tracks look, look lovely, by the way. They're, they're much flatter. Um, but yeah, beautiful. Uh, two swords and a, and a rose, it looks like. Um, you've got the searchlights, which are very gothic looking. Uh, you've got these uh, steps, which are, are grated. Uh, lots of detail. I mean, how to get that detail, to punch that out in a plastic kit is um, fantastic. And then you've got the side hatches and this glorious Hunter Killer missile launcher here. Beautiful. Very ornate. And the exhausts are pretty much one piece, you just glue on the, the top braziers. Um, you've got the smoke launchers, which again have a Fleur de Lis icon on, on them. Uh, wow, and the Heavy Bolter even has a little one too. Um, yeah, I think I've covered everything. That is a beautiful, beautiful kit. Well worth £25 each uh, for the sprue, in my opinion. Yes, I know I said £40 would have been fantastic, but, you know, maybe 45 I think 50 is still a little bit overpriced. I think 40, it would sell like hotcakes. Uh, but realistically, how many of these are you gonna get? Um, one, maybe two. Uh, I will get a second one, but it'll be a long way off. Um, I'm just happy to get one of these. And I've always wanted one. From the moment I saw one, uh, the old kits, I never purchased an old kit. I didn't purchase any Sisters of Battle, to be fair, uh, over 20 years ago. But very much like the Triumph of St. Catherine, I'm very happy to finally have one in my hands. What do you guys think of the kit? Please do put it in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.